I'm headed out for a vacation and I'm gonna show you what I'm bringing to eat on a carnivore diet. Hi, I'm Jen. If you're new here, I am delighted to meet you. If you're not new, welcome back. Like I said, I'm Jen, I'm a doctor of physical therapy and I've experienced radical healing on a carnivore diet and I love giving you tips and tricks to be able to do the same. Join me for this short video where we will discuss the three main foods that I'm taking with me for a long road trip to Colorado where I will be hiking and staying with a friend. I'm going on vacation, finally, thank God. Woo woo! Hope you like that made up song. No, I'm really excited. I just really, really need a break. But when it comes to vacations, I definitely like to take my own food because I hate to be in a situation where there's nothing for me to eat or having to inconvenience my friend. The friend I'm staying with has a job, a husband, three little kids, and a life. So I certainly don't want her to have to be worrying about what foods she needs to prepare for me. Ooh, Lucy's just pacing back and forth. She can't decide what she wants to do. I know that there will be some foods that I can eat. They have chicken, so there's plenty of fresh eggs that I can eat. They are a family that eats meat, and I know they will try to accommodate my diet, but I just don't want them to have to be forced to. Plus, I wanna have food for the car ride if I need it, and I also wanna have food that I can take with me when I'm hiking. So this is what I'm taking. The first thing is Power Pucks. This is from a company that I just recently learned about. They're actually from Colorado, and it's just a small up and coming business making food for people like us that want to have access to portable, real food. So I love them, and I definitely wanna help them grow. These Power Pucks are made of tallow, protein, and pork rinds for the texture and some salt. As you can see, they're about the size of a big palm. Let me, let me compare it to my big old hand. Yeah, about the size of my palm. Each one of these is a thousand calories, so it's definitely not a snack. It is most definitely a meal replacement. I bought a bunch for my trip so I could have one a day if I need, and mostly I bought this natural nude flavor, which doesn't have any kind of flavoring. It's literally just tallow, beef protein isolate, the pork rinds, and the salt. So I've tasted it before. It's fine, right? It's nothing that I'm gonna crave. It's not awesomely delicious, but it's sustenance, and it's not bad tasting. I certainly don't hate it. <laughs> if that doesn't sell it, I don't know what does. But for me, it is important to not have things that are so delicious that I just wanna eat them all the time. I need some things like this, these portable kinds of things, to be adequately delicious, like a burger patty or something. Each Power Puck has 90 grams of fat, 35 grams of protein, so it's right about 85% fat. The natural flavored ones have a beef protein isolate, and the flavored ones have whey protein. So the other two flavors that I have are chocolate mint and wafer cream. Now these are delicious. If I have too many of these, I'm probably going to eat them because I like them, not because I need them. So I try to get these ones sparingly, honestly. The next thing I'm taking is a whole bunch of beef jerky. If you've watched any of my videos, you might know I have a slight obsession with beef jerky. I just make it myself, usually out of brisket, and sometimes I make it in my oven, sometimes in my air fryer. I made like a 15 pound brisket in that dehydrator right there. I bought it on Father's Day weekend, so it was on sale for $1.99 a pound, so I got a 15 pound brisket for $30. Now in the past, I would buy commercial jerky for trips like this, and the one brand that I have bought as a carnivore is People's Choice Beef Jerky on Amazon. I like it, but it does have a few seasonings that I typically try to avoid when I can, but that one bag is $30. I made probably 10 bags. I've just already eaten half of it, <laughs> but I have five bags left to take to my trip. So I'm really excited for that. You can see there's a lot of fat on this jerky because I use brisket. And so I will store this in the freezer until I'm ready to eat it. But it is so good. I love it every time. I almost can't stop eating it. So for me to portion it into individual bags is very, very helpful. Each bag has about eight ounces of jerky, which means it was about a pound of meat before it was dehydrated. And the third thing I'm taking is carnivore bars. So you might have heard of these guys before. It's a kind of pemmican. So it's actually kind of similar to the Power Pucks in that it, they're made of tallow and salt, but this time instead of protein, they have beef in them. Each bar has about half a pound of beef. And these are also, I think about 85% fat. Each bar is 400 calories. 
So if I were to have one of each of these things every day, one power puff, one carnivore bar, and one bag of jerky, that would be probably something like 2,200 calories, probably about 75 to 80% fat. So I would be perfect as far as my nutrition needs and where I want to be to be on a keto carnivore diet. And I love that these things are all shelf stable. Like I said, I am gonna store the jerky in the freezer because there is quite a bit of fat on it, but it would be fine being out for a few days. It's not that big of a deal. But frankly, if I leave it out, I will eat it. If I keep it in the freezer, I will be a lot less likely to eat more than one bag a day. So this is something that makes me feel comfortable, that I'll always have what I need, and I won't be putting anyone else out if they don't have something to serve me that I wanna eat. I'd love to hear in the comments what foods you would take. And I'll also leave some discount codes if you're interested in either the Power Pucks or the Carnivore Bars that will be in the caption. Thank you so much for watching. This is probably the last video I will be filming for at least a week because I'm going on vacation, holla. If you enjoyed this, please like and subscribe. And if you want, catch me on Instagram and you can follow my stories a little bit and see how my trip goes.